Greetings Earthlings, this is Sam at IGN News. Venus is roughly the same size as Earth and it lies just inside the habitable zone for our solar system. It seems like the perfect candidate for exploration, but unfortunately it's covered in clouds of sulfuric acid and the atmospheric pressure at the surface is equal to 93 Earth atmospheres. But the idea of exploring an Earth-sized planet is just too enticing for some NASA scientists who propose building a floating base far above the planet's caustic atmosphere. The proposal is known as HAVOC, or High Altitude Venus Operational Concept, because at this point, it's still just a concept. At 50 kilometers above Venus's hellish surface, the atmospheric pressure is roughly equivalent to that of Earth's. And because of Venus's size being just below that of Earth, the gravitational pull is nearly the same. Coupled with the relatively low danger to astronauts from radiation exposure, the idea of exploring Venus becomes more and more attractive, especially when put up against similar exploration plans on Mars. The gravity of Mars is only about a third of that of Earth, and its atmosphere weighs in at a paltry 0.6% that of Earth at its surface. The danger to explorers from radiation is also significantly higher at almost 40 times that of normal exposure on Earth. To put that in perspective, the radiation danger at 50 kilometers above Venus's surface is roughly equivalent to the radiation exposure faced by people in Canada. Taking some cues from both The Empire Strikes Back and the Final Fantasy franchises, atmospheric exploration of Venus would take place in airships, with a home base consisting of a floating city inside of which Lando Calrissian could hypothetically be strong-armed into aiding the hated empire, hypothetically. Of course, these measures are merely a proposal, albeit one with some very practical reasons behind it. Venus is much closer to Earth than Mars, so the time spent in space for future explorers would be minimized compared to a similarly manned Mars mission, which could take between 650 and 900 days round trip. For all your weird space news, stay right here on IGN. Want all your news in one place? Subscribe to our brand new channel, IGN News. We'll bring you updates on everything happening in video games, movies, TV, and tech all day, every day. Subscribe at youtube.com slash IGN News.